Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, tonight's question is super easy. I'm going to get right to it. It's from Paul. He says, Hi Mark, I hope I get an answer, but if not, I'll still be a huge fan because I know you're busy and must get a ton of emails. This is kind of embarrassing, but I wonder if you have any tips for dealing with being self-conscious. I'm in my late 30s and my hair has started noticeably thinning and it's made me so insecure to the point that I don't want to meet anyone new for dates or hookups. Any advice would be helpful. All right, Paul. Well, in terms of being uh, generally insecure, that's that's a that's a huge issue, and that will take that would take a, a long time to to work through because there are various types of insecurities, various causes, various ways to deal with each of those, you know, respective types of insecurity and all of that. So we're going to keep it very limited to your particular insecurity, not insecurity in general. Um, when it comes to hair loss, and hey, this, that is something that a lot of guys are concerned about, and a lot of guys are dealing with it. Um, look, it's you, you either can accept it or resist it. So acceptance is something that a lot of guys can can deal with. You know, personally, I fall in the resist category. I will do just about anything to resist the aging process, whether that be Botox or dermal fillers or laser treatments on my face, all that good stuff. You know, I, I would not, I, I want to look <laughs> younger than I am for as long as possible. Now, at some point, age catches up with everybody. And you either look good for your age or you look like an alien because you've had so much work done. But, uh, you know, at this point, I go the route of resistance. Now, what does acceptance look like when it comes to hair loss? Well, just coming to terms with and coming to grips with the fact that this is part of your aging process. And then once you accept that and you, and, and you realize, hey, this is, this is what aging looks like for me, part of it. Then you say, how do I make it work for me? Well, in your case, you would start to experiment with your hairstyle. You know, a lot of times when guys start experiencing hair loss, they, they, they buzz it all off or they, they crop it real short. And for some guys, it looks really good. As a matter of fact, sometimes it looks better than the, the hairstyle that they had. So you can, you can accept it and then try to figure out a way to make it work for you. What does resistance look like when it comes to hair loss? Well, there are several things you could do. Uh, one, you can try some topical things that you, you put on your hair. The most common would be Rogaine. And my dermatologist, who's also one of my best friends, has told me Rogaine really does work for, for a fair number of people in terms of uh, spurring on new hair growth and, and stopping hair loss. Uh, but it doesn't work for everybody and it's not nearly as effective as uh, some of the prescription treatments. Uh, the most common prescription treatment would be Propecia. So you could go to your doctor or your dermatologist, uh, explain your concerns and ask about Propecia, uh, which is, uh, you know, it's actually, as a matter of fact, that's one that I take. So uh, I've always been concerned about hair loss because it runs on my mother's side. So when I was about um, 27, I started taking Propecia. It's just a tiny little pill. You take it once a day. Um, your doctor would, of course, tell you the dosage that's right for you or if it's appropriate, but it really does work. And my dermatologist said it is one of the most effective things at preventing hair loss and spurring on new hair growth. Uh, and then there are stronger prescriptions, uh, you know, in addition to Propecia. And then the extreme example of resisting hair loss would be, would be a hair transplant, which is quite painful and very expensive. And you know, you you sound like you're you're just starting to really notice your hair thinning. So I wouldn't even consider that one. You should look into the topical things, and you should look into the um, uh, the prescription medications. And by the way, you know, uh, Propecia, depending on how it's prescribed, can be incredibly cheap. You know, I think I pay something like I don't know seven dollars for a month supply, uh, which is not bad. Totally worth it for me. Um, I would I, I I think there's nothing wrong with either option. I would probably encourage you to talk to your doctor and see if there is a way for you to stop this hair loss and, and start some regrowth. But whatever you choose, whatever makes you comfortable is the right decision for you. 
Um, and then, you know, just as, as a side note, you, you don't want to go crazy with this, with this type of stuff to resist the aging process. You want, to, you want to be reasonable and you want to stay within whatever your particular budget is. You don't want to go thousands or tens of thousands of dollars into debt to, to look young. You'll be young and in the, you'll look young and be in the poorhouse. That's, that's not smart either. So keep it within reason and keep it within your budget. But there is certainly nothing wrong with resisting the aging process. So Paul, I hope this helps you. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would really appreciate it.